Hello Devils, we're going to be talking over the next few months, obviously not much going on apart from it, about transfer uh, talk. This is a little bit of fun though, we're going to have serious chats about genuine stories and, and sources and rumours, but we're going to have a fantasy three in and three out. So bear with us, we've just come up with this in the office uh, this afternoon, but we've got Devils, Adam, uh, Suf and Dale on to talk about this. Guys, I'll kick it off. We're going to talk three out first of all, which is your ideal three players to leave United. You can't include Paul Scholes because we know he's gone. You can include Wayne Rooney if you think he should go. Uh, my three though, uh, Anderson, who loves a party, but to be honest, hasn't done much on the pitch for the last couple of years. Nanny, who scored a great goal in 2007, has had some highlights, but isn't quite uh, going to make it, I don't think, regularly enough. And another winger, I'm going to go with uh, Ashley Young, who I just don't think has made the grade, especially with uh, Wilfred Zaha coming in. Boys, what do you think of those three, Adam? What do you think of those? Um, nanny, no chance. No? Not for me. Um, I don't think he's played enough this season. People talking like he's played rubbish this season. He's, he's, he's simply been injured for, for a lot of it. And when he has played, yes, he's been in and out. He's been up and down. But I think Nani's one of those players. You, you put his arm around him, play him every game, week in, week out. He's our best winger without a doubt, so I would not let him go. If he goes, he'll become a world-class winger, one of the top five, um, and, and he'll make us pay. So I wouldn't let Nani go, to be honest. Fair enough. We'll ask your three in just a second to go, but we'll bring in Dale, bounce it around a bit. What have you got for us, mate? What are your three to go? I've got Anderson, I've yeah. got Young, I've got Wayne Rooney. His behaviour in 2010 upset me, annoyed me. Um, and a lot of fans took him back. But if these stories are correct, that he doesn't want to be at the club anymore, it's a slap in the face. Um, mm. He has to wake up and look what he has right now. Look around him. He will not get that at another football club. Um, as, for, as for Anderson... Has the ability, but he struggles putting the work in, which is a shame because you can see you can see by him some weeks that he can make those passes, he can make those driving runs. Doesn't do it enough. Um, and as for Ashley Young, I agree. Don't think he makes the grade. But when you say that, when he plays, the squad looks a lot more balanced because he, he tracks hard, back. Yeah. He tracks back. He works hard. Whereas Nanny, he doesn't track back. Yes, he's very good going forward, but the shame is he can't cross his two legs. <laughs> well, so we're not going to talk too much about the old um, Rooney situation because we've got another video on the channel uh, addressing that in, in depth. But what about Yusuf and, and the Anderson dilemma? Because he seems like a lovely lad to get around. He's at the front of all the celebrations. Is that why Fergie's kept him along? But I suppose a new manager might not uh, think that's enough to, to be part of the I, squad. I, th I think Anderson's role within that team now is just to boost morale. You know yeah. what I mean? Uh, I think that's what he does because, like you said, he's, he's a bit of a joker. Uh, but we paid serious money for him. And since he's arrived, he's not pro you know, provided serious sort of uh, exploits on the pitch. So he's in one of my three to go as well, um, alongside um, Nani. Not clearly because I don't like him, but because yeah. maybe of, of, the, uh, of the speculation. Um, Could Nani hurt us, do you think? Is Nani a player good enough to hurt us in the future for a Champions yeah, League? Yeah, of course, course, definitely. I mean, like Adam said, um, he's, he will become... I mean, if he keeps at it at United and gets a consistent run in the team... He's up there with you know some of the best in the world. Uh, he's got great trickery, great going forward, and I think this season, till this season, since two thousand and nine, he's had the highest assist record in the Premiership. Um, so that that speaks a lot about him as well. He's got end product. Um, so I mean, if he was coming back to Old Trafford, he'd, he'd definitely haunt us in the same way that Cristiano Ronaldo did. Yeah. What's your, th um, what's your th who's your third player then? Um, Tom Cleverley, Ooh, in a fantastic in, in a fantastical way. He's not done it for me. He's not done it for me at all. Um, pe people keep comparing him, him, him to uh, Jack Wilshire, which is, I think is unfair because Jack Wilshire is a bit more silky. Tom Cleverley is a grafter. Um, but you get United, any money from him though? Did you get a lot of money for Cleverley? I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I'd probably give him personally. I'd probably give him a season of back out on loan. Um, wow. But I mean, again, where would he go? Do you know what I mean? Um, but I don't know. He's just not done it for me this season. Um, <laughs> and it's it's a little bit hard. Well, mate, let's bring him, let's say, bring in Adam because he's making faces as, as well. <laughs> what, what do you make of that, Adam? I don't believe it. So what you want, man? Uh, <laughs> cleverly cannot go. Um, cleverly is mate, I think, I, I, based I think on his performances this cleverly, season. That's what it is. Okay, fair enough. He's not you know he's not exceeded expectation or anything like that. But he's making a development now. People seem to think that you know players reach 22, 23, they need to be performing week in week out. They're still young. He's younger than me. Um, I mean, cleverly, he's still learning his trade. Now, not every player is going to hit their form like 
like Wayne Rooney did from a 16, 17 year old. He needs time. He needs time on the pitch. Dale, where, Dale, where do you stand on Cleverly? Because is he is he got a position as a central midfielder? Because he's not an all rounder. He's not a defensive, not an attacking midfielder. Is he? Is that hard, is that a difficult one for him? For me, I definitely keep him. I've really enjoyed watching this season, watching him progress. I think we had to sit back as fans and remember Raphael. Lots of fans called Raphael out a few years ago, and he's developed. He's matured. Yeah, he's a fantastic player. Um, cleverly this season for me is when he's played at the start of the season when, when we counter attack he's in the middle of it he spreads the ball brilliantly um, and he has a nice sense of urgency to him too I, I, t- I personally think that's going to be the same sort of cleverly we're going looking back in three years time thinking well I really enjoy watching this player progress well, fair play to Suf, though. He shook it up a little bit. Now I'm waiting for this Absolutely. as well. We spoke, we're speaking to Adam. <laughs> we got his three count up. And Adam, if you've watched our shows, loves a prediction or two. He likes to hedge his bets a little bit. <laughs> so, Adam, I'm sure you've got a list of about 16 players to go, but try and boil it down to three for us. OK. Um, first of all, you're rough, Ed. <laughs> um, well, my three, um, Butner, um, Young. Yeah. And um, there is an if with this one. It's Rooney, but there's a big if over that one. Um, I don't want him to go. If, but if, if what? If um, doesn't you know? I think this problem we've got, we've been in it, been over it already, or we will go over it. Um, isn't isn't to do with the club? I think it was to do with his relationship with Sir Alex Ferguson. Yeah. Now got a new manager. You know, weird way it could be a new lease of life for him, and it could kick on. So if he, if Rooney stays, who else would you check out? Who would you who would you like to see go? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Mike Phelan, probably. He just seems to me like he's just a yes man. But um, Young and Butner, I think Butner because Fabio is coming back. Butner's not set the world alight. I think he was just there to make Van Persie feel a bit more comfortable with another Dutch man around the camp. And I'd let Butner go. Um, Ashley Young, if you want a new, if you want to get rid of a winger, it has to be him because he's not better than Nani. He's not better than Valencia. Um, if Rooney wants to go, see you later. Thank you and goodbye. But um, I would look to keep him, to be honest. So consensus on um, on Young and, and poor old Anderson, the party animal. But Dad, what do you reckon that the Butner thing situation? Because he's he's a decent understudy. Of course, we'd, we'll get onto the three to come in. There it's might not... be a left back coming in, according to the papers. It's a tough one, really. Um, watching this season, I've seen his debut against Wigan, and obviously scored that day. I thought he was very good. But people' expectations arose. We were playing an average team. He got he had the uh, he had the chance to bomb up the wing and, and not worry too much about getting back. But when he comes up against tougher opposition, that's when he struggles. Positionally, um and defensively, I think he needs to improve. But no one can uh, can fault his efforts going forward, you know. And what I like about him too, he's scary. He looks proper scary. So um if you could start out his defensive game, I'd I think Kimbali looks scary and he was rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Not, not as scary as Akin Fenwar, but we'll talk about it another day. Uh, boys, wonderful stuff. The three out, we've got a consensus there, at least on uh, Young and Anderson. So that's that. Uh, subscribe, get your thoughts in, guys. Adam, you got something to say, mate? Another few players on the list. <laughs> I didn't agree to Anderson, but yeah, okay. Cool. <laughs> well, i tell you what, there's the. There's a, fair enough. There's a sort of consensus, at least. But we'll be back in for the three players they want, and Adam is going to be. Uh, limited to at least 25 on that one. So what do you think, though, Devils? Make sure you subscribe, get your thoughts below. And for the three that we want into the club, jump across uh, to that video and we'll see you there.